Hi everyone, here we go, day seven already. Uh, we've got another five exercises with 30 seconds, each repeated twice, so that totals five whole minutes of planking. I'm adding in a reverse plank in the middle. I'm going to do a reverse plank every day um, hereafter, so uh, we can really improve in our good posture. So just watch, today you might find your bottom's quite low on this particular reverse plank, mine really is. So I'm hopefully going to improve by the end of 26 days, and I hope you will too. So don't worry if you can't manage it too well, even not lift your bottom off. Um, secondly, there's full arm work and there's elbow work. Just remind you that I can't do a lot of full arm work, so I'm going to be modifying. So just keep listening to my, uh, to my words, keep listening to my cues, um, and hopefully you can do it better than me. Okay, so the first one is going to be a high plank rotation. We haven't done this one yet. So high plank rotation. It's going to be, your feet are going to be um, split, we're going to hold it here and then we're going to come down and you're going to do it on the other side. But I'm going to drop down onto my elbow, but you don't have to. So here. So you'll just keep going on a full arm, just ignore my modification. Now if you too can't do a full arm, you do the whole thing on your elbow. So here's the elbow version, here, here's the full arm version. Useful, hey, I can do both. <laughs> so again, three two, one, lovely. Coming up to full arm again, we're doing plank jacks. This is a tough one. We're going out and in over the legs. So it's going to be a hard one for the bit of a cardio blast. It's a hard one for the heart rate to get you nice and warm. If it's too much, tap out with individual legs. That's the modification. The elbow version is actually harder because you're closer to the ground, but you can obviously do that if your wrists are uncomfortable. Okay, so now we're doing our reverse plank. So here we're going to roll down onto our backs, bring the elbows under your shoulders, open up the chest towards the sky, straighten your legs. We're going to squeeze the glutes to hover our bottoms off the floor, try not to just drop your chin towards your throat, looking up and holding, squeezing your glutes, really opening your chest. Oh, lift, lift, lift. Don't let that bottom touch the ground. Oh, phew. Good. Okay, next one's back onto elbows. We're doing what we call a dolphin. So elbows here. Into an elbow plank. Then you're going to pop your bottom up high. Come back down again. So we just lift up, push your heels down, and then come back. So lift and lower. When you're lifted, really try and get that back nice and straight. Stick that tailbone up and then down again. So lift and return. Four seconds. Lovely, okay. Commando plank with the hip dips, we do two, two together. So it's gonna be elbow down and up, and then when you go back down again, we're gonna twist the pelvis. Come up again, and down, and lift, and down, and a hip dip. Lovely, up again, and down, and up, and down, and hip dip. Lovely. And then we start again. So right from the start, we're doing those side plank rotations. Ideally a straight arm like this, and you turn over, do the same on the other side, or you can do it all on your elbow. So I'm just doing both. So I've got, I just ignore my uh, mix of modifications. This is just my version, okay? You might have similar problem as well. So you can do an elbow plank or full arm. You don't have to do the mix like I am. Coming back now, oh, out of breath, is jacks. So holding it here, abs on. I've been looking forward to the reverse plank for a change. <laughs> Do it normally. Opening and closing. Remember the modification is tapping out side to side. Or come back to jumps. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one, caught my toe, and then you're coming back. Okay, so back onto your reverse plank, open the chest, legs are straight, abs on, lift and hold. That's it, elbows as far back as you can, and just lift up. Hopefully as we do these every day, you'll see a nice opening of the front of the body and the strengthening of the posterior side. Keep squeezing those glutes to lift you, feel it in your hamstrings, Flex the ankles or point. Oh, back over to your elbows for your dolphin. So here we go. Elbows down. 
into a plank to start, then push and straighten that back and then come down again. So it's like a downward dog to plank, but on elbows. We did downward dog to plank, I think day one or two. Up and then down. Lift and lower. Five seconds. Push the heels to the ground. Take your time with that nice stretch. Lovely. Well, not so lovely. Commando plank. So we're here. So we come down, we go up, we come down, and we hip dip. And again, up and down, up again, and then elbows and hip dip. Fetus are separated so that when you swivel on the feet, you've got space. Let's sit down again, and one last chat time. Whoa. That's it. Great, five minutes done already. Are we improving? I hope you are. And hopefully, as once the 26 days is over, you might just bring this into every, every morning, every evening. Just re-look at the videos and do five minute planking. It's ideal.